Ready? One, two, three, go. Hello guys, a uh, very good evening. Uh, so before we could start with the session, can you guys quickly let me know in the chat section if you guys are able to hear me and uh, see the screen as well? Okay, so uh, guys, uh, a lot of you have the DXC uh, exam coming soon, mostly for the 2022 pass outs, uh, the you know, uh, college on campus exam. Some of the 2021 pass outs also have the DXC exam. So we thought of, you know, kind of have a DXC recruitment pattern session over here wherein we can talk about all the important topics and all the important sections that are generally been asked, you know, in the DXC exam. So, uh, I'm just waiting for you guys to be a little, become a little active, start chatting, start commenting there, and so that you know we can start with the session quickly. Okay, uh, so guys, uh, DXC, right? So first things first, guys. Before we can start with the session, I request you guys to please follow us on Instagram. Join our very cool Discord community. Follow us on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram as well. Cause uh, we we gonna be posting a lot of drive related updates, a lot of syllabus, recruitment process related update in the you know coming time, especially for 2022 pass outs and then 23 as well, 21, 20 as well. So make sure you guys have you know joined all our social media handles. The link to join all of this can be found in the description of the video as well. So make sure you go and join it. Let me just uh give you an overview on how our discord looks like so this is how our discord looks like there are a lot of lot and lot of channels wherein you can go you can talk uh, you know there are a lot of opportunities where you can earn prep coins wherein you can use them to you know redeem them to get your prime subscription and a lot more other stuff right so make sure you are a part of this cool community right okay so guys uh, first things first dxc recruitment pattern right so the first thing is the platform by which dxc would be hiring is AMCAT. So DXC would be hiring by AMCAT. Yes, the most important question that people generally ask is, is that, uh, you know, a, a non-negative kind of exam or a negative marking kind of exam. So it is a no non-negative exam. So there would be no negative marking at all. 
talking about the next thing that is the test type so the test type is adaptive for so for amcat the test type is always adaptive so what is uh, you know exactly adaptive test so adaptive test actually means that let's say you you are uh, you answered the first question correctly so the second question that you're going to get would be a little tougher that does not mean your score would be less you solve questions correctly 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 the, the difficulty of the questions would keep on increasing but that will also add to your score the, the more number of correct questions you solve the more score you generate or the more percentile you generate but there is no negative marking you you know start on solving wrong 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 so that the level of questions would decrease for you the questions would become easy but uh, in the end that would not be helpful for you cause the scores that you get would be lesser than the one who has solved questions correctly right so that is the basic about an adaptive test no negative marking now talking about the general sections that are asked in dxc so the sections that are asked in dxc there are six sections the first one is quants the second one is logical reasoning verbal english computer mcqs automata fix and writex pro what is writex pro writex pro is also known as essay writing they just given it a cool name right that's all so uh, yeah these are the six sections that are generally asked now talking about the number of questions so there would totally be 62 questions in the test with 100 minutes of total time now the first section that you actually get in the exam is the verbal english uh, wherein there would be 12 questions the time that you get is 15 minutes logical reasoning is 14 minutes uh, sorry 14 minutes and 14 questions quants is again 16 questions and 16 minutes writex pro so you get one talk topic wherein you have to write an essay and you get 20 minutes for the same thing about computer mcq so you get 12 questions you have 15 minutes automata fix you have seven questions and you get 20 minutes for it so you guys can take a screenshot as well if you feel like or else this video would also be available later on as well so you can actually go and rewatch it again if you have doubts if you have confusion so guys uh, any questions still now so the if everything is clear till now we will you know now move on to the internal discussions on all the sections how verbal reasoning what are the things that is generally asked in logical reasoning or quants or what is automata fix around a lot of you might not know what is automata fix or the writex pro so we're going to have a de detailed discussion about that as well okay so uh, guys i'm waiting for chats all right this is guys for 20 most of the colleges in which this exam dx is happening is for 2022 batch pass outs we found some of students who for whom it was happening for 2021 batch students as well the numbers were a few and we do not have much more information on that as well but yes for 2022 it is happening on campus in a lot of colleges and uh, for 2022 batch yes Uh, guys sectional cut off and all we going to talk about that later on uh, guys talk to your placement officers talk to your tpo if you know dx is still active for your college or not because this is an on, on campus drive not an off campus so there is no specific link for the same right all right so now uh, let's first start our discussion on verbal english so verbal english as i already said there would be 12 questions and you have 15 minutes these are not the total number of topics that are going to be asked there i'll tell you where to go and check that but uh, the most important topic so vocabulary when you talk about vocabulary you need to have synonyms you need to know antonyms and contextual vocabulary the most important of this sections is the reading comprehension guys then comes error identification sentence improvement and construction and that there are a lot more smaller topics of lesser weightage but overall if we talk about verbal english it is very important cause uh, while while you giving any exam via amcat verbal english you know plays a major role over there you cannot ignore this section talking about the second one that is the logical reasoning so in logical reasoning guys the most interesting or the unique part is the puzzles then comes directional sense where you can actually score 
if you talk about the tougher side so that could be people a lot of people get confused in data sufficiency coding deductive logic selection decision table objective objective reasoning and then coding pattern recognition number series pattern recognition classification pattern recognition analogy pattern recognition so these are one of the most important or mostly asked type of questions from logical reasoning 14 questions 14 minutes so guys uh, my suggestion here is uh, most of you would be able to solve this question if i give you with you know sufficient amount of time or infinite time but the thing is you have 14 questions you have 14 minutes so you have approximately 50 seconds a question cost 10 seconds you need to switch on to the next question read the question or maybe answer the question right so that is where you going to waste your 10 seconds so you have approximately 45 50 seconds for each and every question so you need a lot of practice for this you cannot take it easy i mean people who have practiced they would take lesser time they would complete more number of questions and at the end you know end up solving more number of questions scoring more marks talking about quants my favorite so in basic mathematics you have divisibility hcf lcm numbers decimal fractions powers the general topics applied mathematics you have profit and loss sici speed time and distance to be the most important one in the applied mathematics inverse the most critical section is the engineering mathematics which uh, you know constitutes uh, which be, uh, which uh, have the topics like logarithms permutation and combination and probability logarithm is one of the most unique topics and i still see a lot of engineers who actually do not know how to solve logarithms and yes there would be one to two questions definitely from logarithms in your exam and that would be very easy question if you know logarithms you would be able to solve but if you don't have any idea you you cannot even approach right now let's talk about the next section that is the write text as i said you have one topic you have 20 minutes to write the essay so the topics could be you know varied so you you would get a very normal topic let's say uh, something like demonetization or anything on the epidemic or the pandemic that we are going through that could be any particular topic so you you generally have to have a good general knowledge on the basic things that are happening near you or in the country or in the world right so you need to first analyze and understand the topic put your points in a systematic manner do not overlap your opinion so you should not have multiple opinions on the same thing this is correct this is wrong as well cannot be that case ese must have pros and cons respective to the topic that there are pros of pros for everything let's say demonetization there are 10 pros there are three cons so you have to talk about both always give a solution or an explanation or the con so you should try to you know conclude your essay or try to come up with your perspective to the same or your solution to the problem or to the scenario or the topic that is given to you always remember use keyword so let's say uh, the, the essay for you was demonetization so that definitely means that you have to use the word demonetization in your essay multiple times give examples try to you know cite examples that you might have seen around you you know to justify your opinion or you know to justify your pro or your cons give ideas express your opinion so that is where you know uh, essay writing come into picture so opinion is very important cause you need to have a certain opinion regarding any topic that you are going to write uh, an essay about right okay we'll we'll come again on to that we will talk a little bit more about that as well i'll tell you where to go and where to check everything about that the next thing guys is the computer mcqs wherein you have 12 questions and 15 minutes so you would have you know multiple choice type of questions four options same as logical or quants or verbal wherein the most important type of topics that uh, you you can expect a question from is data types basic iteration recursion decision functions and scope array linked list trees graphs stacks queues hash tables searching and sorting algorithms polymorphism abstraction encapsulation complexity theory so these are the most important kind of topics wherein you can expect a question from in your computer mcqs section right Uh, yes guys definitely there is a plagiarism check in your essay writing right i just saw the chat i'll i'll come back to the chat guys i just want to cover this first and then i'll come back to the chat uh, you know chat section and answer your queries as well right talking about the most important section and a lot of 2022 pass outs might 
not even have heard about this, right? Automata fix, guys. This is very important if you actually want to clear your DXA round. Most of the people can do CMCQs or the verbal or the quants or the logical round. Essay writing, they can manage somehow, but automata fix is tough. Let me talk about some of the situations or some of the most type asked type of questions or some of the questions that you can expect. Uh, one could be, you know, arranging the data of an array in some some specific order, comparing two given strings, and then you'd be given the code for the same, and you have to find the bug in the code. What, what was the mistake in the code? Could be anything. Could be with the initialization. Could be could be you know anything. Could be with the syntax or anything. Finding the second largest smallest element of an array. Finding some specific element in the given data. Finding the code for some popular searching or search, sorting like linear search, binary search, merge sort, radix sort, etc. So the question would basically be: uh, you'd be given a code. What you actually need to do is there could be a syntax error or an entire line could be wrong or the entire logic could be wrong, the loop could be wrong, right? Anything could be wrong in the code, and you just have to you know fix the code. That is how automata fix works. There could be any sort of question that is thrown at you, any sort of code that would be given to you, and you have to analyze the mistake in the code and then the, then fix, a, as the name suggests, automata fix, right? So guys, uh, now let me give you some basic idea onto where you can actually go and prepare for, especially for automata fix and the other sections as well. So we on our prep insta prime. So uh, let me open it fresh for you so that you can go and find it out on your own. So you can simply go to prepinstaprime.com wherein you can click on to course list. Inside course list, there would be companies service base wherein you can scroll down to DXC wherein we have linked the syllabus already, right? So this is where we have given the detailed structure. So yeah, guys, another thing is yes, DXC online course. So once you have the Prime Prepinsta Prime subscription, DXC is already included in it. So you, you get the Prime subscription, the DXC entire DXC online course is included in it. Not only the DXC online course, so that also includes the automata fix, but we also have a special section specially for uh, DXC. So I'll just show you over here. So I have bought it so I can check all of this here. So uh, you can scroll down, 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 and you can see a complete automata fix, uh, you know, course is there on our Prime as well. So wherein you can go and, you know, watch videos, practice most number of questions from there already. Right? Now, uh, we're talking about the syllabus. So DX is already live on Prep Insta Prime. You have the subscription. You can go and start preparing for DSC. Right, so uh, you also get mocks, aptitude, logical, verbal, computer MCQs, automata fix, essay writing. Everything is actually included in the DXC course already. If you have the Prep Insta Prime subscription, the link for the same is, I think, available in the description of the video. And I think Adil or someone who's moderating can also share it in the chat. Right? Okay, guys. Apart from that, so uh, I'll I'll come on to the chat. But meanwhile, guys, another thing is we are now live on discord we have this very cool community over discord so even if i'm not able to answer all your chats in the chat section you guys can always reach out to us on discord right so again the link for our discord so invite link for our discord is in the description of the video of the same youtube video i would suggest you go and join it here because it's it's kind of cool right you would be getting a lot of folks over here the, the, the more number of interactions you do, the more number of questions that you solve on a daily basis here, the more number of challenges that you complete, you actually get prep coins. What is prep coin? So prep coins are, are similar like currency. So you can actually collect your prep coins and then use them to, you know, get free subscription of prep and subprime and a lot more cool stuff, right? Uh, so guys, I would definitely suggest you to go and check out this cool community over this call, right? Apart from that, guys, uh, I would also suggest you to be a part of our Instagram, follow us on Instagram. Our, our Instagram moderation team would also help you with your questions if you have any, right? And apart from that, you can also, you know, get a lot of, you know, off-campus drive related updates here on the Instagram handle. So that is prep insta 2022 for uh, 2022 batch pass outs. If you are any other year pass out, so you can simply type in prep insta.com slash Instagram. And you can join your year specific Instagram as well. 
So let's say you are 2021 pass out, you can you have a handle, separate handle, you are 2022 pass out, you have a different handle for similar for 2020 and 2023 as well. Apart from that, guys, I would also suggest you to join our Telegram handle as well. Now, so this uh, was more or less about the return round, guys. So now the once you clear the return round, the next thing is the interview process. So in the interview process, you actually have to rounds the first one is the technical interview so guys are uh, now talking about technical interview a very good resume is important knowing uh, basic languages is important but as of now as of the current market scenario certifications are the most important thing in an interview if you have certifications if you have certificate for the same attached that would you know give you an extra point there every interviewer you know gives you extra marks for having a certification on any particular skill so you get a lot of skills already on prep insta prime so once you have the prep insta prime subscription you could work on your skills like ai you can work on machine learning cyber security ethical hacking big data which is coming soon aws right and a lot more apart from that you have certifications for c c plus plus java python basic coding intermediate coding competitive coding uh right uh, so you can get certifications for all of them not only this guys uh, we have also partnered with tcs uh i also you also get uh, you also get a certification from tcs when you complete yourself so you can actually do an internship there you you would get your remote internship certificate from tcs uh, totally free with your prep insta prime subscription so that would you know give you an extra star there in your interview you have a tcs certificate with you right uh, you you definitely get extra box in the interview right so once the technical interview, right, which generally lasts for 20, 25, 30 minutes based on your skills, if you are too good, might last a little longer, but if you don't know much of a thing, so could last five to 10 minutes, but yes, especially for mechanical and civil students, guys, do not lose hope there. You still have chances. You can actually, you know, go through the C, C++ courses, because as I already showed you over here, uh, it's not like our courses are only designed for, you know, the CSIT students you might not start with competitive coding but you can start with your basic coding and then slowly move on to intermediate coding and then move on to competitive coding uh, once you know start you know grabbing the basic concepts from the basic and the intermediate coding there right after that guys you have the hr interview so general questions asked in hrb hr interview so most of the questions you you might already have an idea about why do you want a job here where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? So to ease that out for you guys, we actually have an interview preparation course already linked in our prep insta prime already live there. Apart from that, guys, uh, generally HR interviews, right? To make that a little interesting, sometimes the interviewer might throw some puzzles at you. So some puzzle questions so that, you know, he can guess or he can judge your thinking or logical ability a little bit. So wherein you, you might get one or two puzzles in your interview so for that also you have a course on our step and stuff prime right uh so guys uh the link for prep insta prime is already there to subscribe the uh, to subscribe to prep insta prime is already there in the description of the video i have already subscribed it so i i don't see it here so let me show you this page here for the pricing those who were asking me that so yeah you can click on to join here and you could see subscriptions for three months, 12 months, 18 months. We have also launched subscription for three months. So for that, you have to click on to this load more, scroll it down. You'd get six months as well. So three, 12, 18 and six, right? Okay. So guys, how to prepare? I've already given you basics idea, basic idea about that. You know the sections, you know the syllabus. The syllabus page is also linked in the description of the video. So you would know what to prepare, what are the topics right you have prep insta prime if not get it or else it's up to you however you want to prepare but yes make sure you prepare well for dxc because the competition would be high the cutoff would definitely be higher a lot higher because a lot of people are in place currently and you know this is one of the uh, opportunities that came a little early so a lot of unplaced students are there everyone is preparing uh you know from six eight months so give your best shot for dxc so guys, now I think it's time for me to move on to chat now. So guys, if you have any questions, uh, you know, start dropping it because I'll be ending the session in next three to four minutes. And after that, if you have any questions, you know where to reach us out. So you can reach us out on Discord. 
you can uh, reach us out on instagram you can also reach out to me personally if you feel like if you have any questions that you don't feel like asking it to anyone else or if you want to connect to me directly this is my insta handle manish 63163 and you can actually go and reach out to uh, me you can just send me a message and i'll be more than happy to help you guys out there right uh jakka kavita this sectional cut off is definitely not 50% it's more or less 80 to 85% it's not that easy to get into dxc you have to prepare 50% is too low you won't be able to you know clear that for sec uh, let's say one of the sections you are weak i i could say 65 70% is manageable in one of the sections but overall your cut off should be 80 85 plus that is the bare minimum that i'm saying could be a case that becomes 90 percentile or even more right depends on the quality of the students that are giving the exam uh guys no uh, harshita as i already said there is no negative marking as such in uh, the exam for dxc there would be no negative mark guys uh, the exam uh, for dxc so that is an off campus exam talk to your tpos about the same i think a lot of students have the exam on 18th and 19th of this month already if you have not applied go talk to your tpos they would be able to help you more with the application if the company is active for your campus right kran darshi yes you can actually do that uh, you should reach out to our support team on instagram or discord right or adil can you drop the ivr number here so that he can kran can reach out to our team with whatever help that he is looking forward to guys as i have already said uh, this is an on campus drive not an off campus one you have to talk to your tpos for the same any time the off campus drive is announced for the Let's see. On Instagram, we would be the first. We would be the first one to, you know, uh, let you know through our Instagram or Discord or Prep Insta or WhatsApp or Telegram handle. This is Atulia here. Can you show them the Prep Insta Prime dot or Prep Insta dot com slash DXC page and how they can find the previous year papers? Guys, I have already said. Uh, So manishprepinsta.com/dxc. Okay, so guys, uh, this is the link here, prepinsta.com/dxc, where you can go and check out the entire detailed syllabus over here, right? Uh. the number of questions you know the uh, the topics over here to practice right if you already have the prep insta subscription with you or the dxc prime video course already so you can go here and check this out right the logical the verbal sections the programming mcq the writex pro so uh, once you get the prime you also get access to this particular uh, this so guys uh, there are some free material once you have the prime you also get access to uh, you know the prepinsta.com/dxc uh dashboard as well wherein you see the pre material then then you have the paid materials as well for each and every section each and every topic so once you have the prime subscription or the prepinsta subscription you can go and check out all the questions and all the relevant quizzes over here so this is the paid section which is only available for the paid students so uh, uh all the sections are linked over here you want to solve quants you have them you want verbal ability all the topics are linked here you can choose any of the topic let's say you are you you are studying reading comprehension so you can simply click on click on to start here you have some free quizzes and then you have the paid materials as well right okay Uh, guys, I think that's more or less enough for this session. If there is anything else, you can definitely reach out to us on Discord or on our Instagram or Telegram or on our IVR numbers.
right i think that's enough for the session i'll be uh, ending the session now thank you so much